All right, so welcome back. So we're gonna have our first of a couple units on positioning boxes. Uh, so there are really three properties that I care about a lot. There's position, display, and float. Um, so this video is gonna be about the display property. And these three kind of work together uh, to see how layout goes. So these are the rules that we're gonna use to position these boxes on the screen so that we can visually get what we're after. Then in addition to these primary three, there's also various helpers, right? Um, things like left top, uh, bottom. Uh, these are used for position elements and we'll get to those. Um, but the important thing is that we're gonna focus on display this time um, and whether it is block inline or inline block. So here's the way you set these four guys. Uh, so block, inline, inline block, and none. Uh, and we'll just use examples to kind of describe what each of them does to the screen. So what we're going to do to explain this, there's some files that if you wanted to go open them up, you could in the uh, display property folder. I'm not going to open them up. I'm just going to look at the slides. Um, and we're just going to look to see what each display value does. So these slides are going to all be the same. The only thing that changes is how we set the display property uh, on the blocks. So this one um, <coughs> has a width and a height set. Um, if it had no width and height set, the height would shrink. Uh, and the width would expand to the whole thing. So by default, that's what would have happened. Uh, but here we put a width and a height. I think it's got a 150 and a 150. So block, you can see some things is that it respects those values, that 150, 150. Um, and it's also interesting that everybody gets their own line, right? So nobody, nobody appears on your own line. They do not share at all. And that's what block does by default. Contrast uh, to block is inline. It's like, it's almost different in every way. So this is the same example. It's just that all these boxes um, have the property display inline put on them instead of block. So the first thing you'll notice is that the width um, is now controlled by how much the text was, and the height is controlled by whatever fits as well. So if you say inline, um, if you had written something down for the width and the height, which we did here, it is completely ignored, right? So you can write width and height to your heart's content. Doesn't care, right? And that's a big part of these CSS rules is how do they interact? The other thing you'll notice is that there are people on the line, right? So it shares the line. So we, we don't have height and width and we've lost that own line feature. And then one of the newer features that actually has not been around for decades and decades um, is kind of a happy mix of the two called inline block. So some people complained and they said, hey, I really want um, the, the width and height to be preserved. Like I really need that. Um, but I also need it to be like in line. I want it to flow like with the text. Um, and I do want things to be on the same, the same line with it. So they've kind of come up with this merged inline block, um, which does not have its own line. Like it, it flows with everything else, but it does respect uh, width and height. Uh, so that's another option. And then the last one is, uh, is comically easy. Oh, I've got a typo there. Um, display none. <laughs> so display none looks like that. If you say display none, it's like you were never there, right? So display none is probably the easiest concept to explain. Um, if you wanted to play with one of these things, I've got an example here. So this is just an example that has uh, block and then none and then inline. If you wanted to, you could go open it up. Uh, so I would just open it up from Eclipse. I would find where it says display property uh, I would find the one that says uh, block none inline, and I would say open with uh, system editor. So many ways to open things. Um, and then I would inspect element, uh, and you could play around with these things and see how they interact if you would like. So for example, box two, which is currently display none, uh, what happens if I put him to inline, right? So what, uh, what happens with that? Um, and you can see how he behaves. Um, and if he was inline block, uh, what would he do there? You can see that He's now in line block, which preserves his size, but he's on the same line uh, as item three, right? And then if you went up to uh, item one and you changed item one to say, I don't know, in line, uh, you could see how they all flow together on the same line and then their size is preserved or not. It's just kind of fun to play with these things. And you can go look at this example uh, to make sure that you understand the display property. And then uh, what you typically are gonna do is you're gonna be looking at something and then you're gonna be deciding what that is. Um, and so one of the things that you do to decide what it is, is you look at these questions. I'm not gonna read them to you. Uh, you can pause them and you can read these questions. And if you understand these things, then you understand the display property. Taken in isolation, display is pretty easy. It's when we start interacting it with everything else that it starts to really get complex. 
All right, you now know about display. Come back next time. I will teach you about position. Thank you.